And this is what the finished plate looks like. Coleslaw, meatloaf, and carrots. I hope my bring you back for a recipe that I found in the Campbell's collection. Three cookbooks in one. And it's called uh, Best Ever Meatloaf. And I'll try to screenshot the recipe and attach it to the video. But I got cold. We went from spring to uh winter again and i was trying to think what do i want to do i'm going to do something fast so i found this meatloaf recipe it's not like any meatloaf i ever do i hope my husband likes it i like it because it's quick if i weren't talking it's quick <laughs> but not only that but it doesn't have a lot of stuff in it so if i want to make meatloaf sandwiches or do something else with it it's not really tied into one particular category, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to bring the camera down here. I need to take my ring off. I think I just need one hand. I forgot the most important ingredient. But I guess I need to tell you what we need. One can, ten and a half ounce, ten and a fourth ounces, or no, 10 and 3 fourth ounces of, uh, it says Campbell's condensed tomato soup. Well, this one's a 30% bigger can. But it does tell you a half a cup in the meatloaf and a half a cup you reserve it for something else. So, I think I can measure out a cup. And after I measure the cup out, whatever is left of this soup... And I don't think there's really, for 30% bigger, don't really think might make another cup of soup. Be good like with grilled cheese or even a ham sandwich or fried bologna sandwich. So it won't go to waste, but I have one cup measured out. Let me see, it says to uh, look in here. Mix half cup tomato soup, your beef, which I got to get. One packet of onion soup mix. It said Campbell's soup, dry onion soup and recipe. I think mine's Lipton's or great value, but that'll work. Bread crumbs, crumbs. And eggs. It says a fourth of a cup of water, but it doesn't tell you. Kind of odd. I don't see where it tells you to add the fourth of a cup of water. So, I'm going to look and I'll bring you back. I guess I need to see how quick I'm going to be on this. I figured out the water goes in something at the end of the cooking. So, we don't have to worry about that right now. <clears throat> but it, once you take a half of a cup of the tomato sauce, I mean the tomato soup. It's not asking for any salt, pepper. Maybe they figure the onion soup mix has enough in it. And this other half a cup is for after the meatloaf bakes. Got my beef in here. Something I do use quite often in my Meatloaf is the onion soup mix. Also, breadcrumbs. I use that often in my meatloaf. Tonight, I've got the panko. And, I forgot to tell you earlier, but I needed one egg and I have a farm fresh egg I'm going to use. Collected it this morning. I don't get eggshell all in it, and I will save the eggshell. And it says you need a 
eight by four, I think. Loaf pan, I think that's fairly close. It's one of the Pyrex Easy Grips that I bought, I guess before the holidays. So right now, I'm just taking my hand. This is how we do it. Done it growing up. And uh, I've used the, I guess it's the needle, the dough bar on my mixer before, but just as easy to mix up by hand. I did not do any peppers, any garlic, any of the other seasonings, jalapeno, anything I might have used in my meatloaf, which I'm sure you could do in this particular meatloaf too. But we're cooking out of the pantry. We're trying to reserve, remember, if we're low on stock, even on seasonings, you may not have all that to sparingly use like we do right now. So this was just a very simple meatloaf that I thought, I've got to try it and see what my husband thinks. I believe that's mixed up real well. Get my loaf pan over here. Tells you to shape it in a loaf and put it in your loaf pan. So normally I put mine in a round pan or a square pan. I very seldom do loaf pans. But for this recipe, I'm gonna stay true to it. We're gonna be using two tablespoons of these drippings once the meatloaf bakes. Trying to level it out here. I think it's gonna be good. And that's all there is to this meatloaf. Gonna stick it in the uh, 350 degree oven for about an hour and a quarter, or until the center reaches 160 degrees, which I've always, ever since I was a young girl, hang on one second, it's ready to go home. in the oven. I'm just waiting on it to finish preheating, and you see what I marked my recipe with. I told you I love this cotton candy, but that was my bit marker. So I'm gonna put this in. We'll come back in an hour, I'd say. I'm gonna check the center. If it's 160, it'll be ready to take out. I'm thinking I might make coleslaw to go with it. And if I do, I'll just bring you back for that too. Trying to multitask again today. I don't know how that's gonna work. I think I bought this at Walmart or Rural King. I don't remember which. Could have been the family dollar store, but it's Mrs. Wages First Step Coleslaw Dressing Mix. It says pour over fresh, fresh vegetables. So I want to make a tri-colored coleslaw. It's past expiration. I want to use it before it expires. Sometimes when you plan on cooking at home or, uh, yeah, I got plans your plans can change. Somebody calls, wants you to go here or there. Is that not pretty? I love the tri-colored coleslaw. It says there's a cabbage of any kind is very low in calorie. Five servings. There's only a hundred calories in this whole thing, so guilt-free eating, <laughs> and it's good. But we're going to doctor it up and make it a little fattier today. I'll paint that right there. It says to pour this package over. And it was good until December of 23, I think. But I don't buy many of these, so I wasn't too worried about trying to find, I should have tore that off, trying to find the oldest. I always kind of roll it up just like I'm doing a tube of toothpaste to get as much as I can out of it. I 
and a half a cup of mayonnaise, which I usually guesstimate at it, but since I'm doing it with you, I thought well, I'd go ahead and pretty much measure. But, and sometimes you have to add a little bit more. I feel like when you're just kind of measuring it out with the spoon, you tend not to lose as much of it in the container. Get it off the spoon here. So I'm going to use this fork to... And all you do is toss it. And once you toss it, says to leave in the uh, refrigerator sitting about an hour, which I should have done this earlier, but I didn't. My meatloaf still has almost an hour by the time it cools down. It'll be right at the uh, hour mark. But needs its wages. I believe I got it at the Family Dollar Store. The more I think about it. I think I got it for a dollar. Not sure this is going to be quite wet enough. But again, we're doing a pantry meal. And as you can see, this jar is just about out of mayonnaise. I believe I've got some Miracle Whip. Can't remember. Now I've got to look and see if I've got another jar. Because it's not... Mayonnaise is not something I usually stock a lot of at one time. This is what it looks like. Very good. Kind of tangy. If I do anything, it'll be add pepper to it. No salt. So I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator, and this is another part of our meal. I've decided to do up some baby carrots. And I actually already put them through the strainer and washed them. Got them in water. Getting ready for them to boil. And the only seasoning I'm going to use to start with is the Saison Goya. It's coriander and anuto. <laughs> is that how you say it? I don't know how you say it. But anyway, I'm going to try these in the carrots. I'm trying to not use butter if I can keep from it. It's a commodity right now that's going up and up and up and up in price. I'd rather use it in breads and certain desserts and all that and try to season my vegetables the best I can without it. I'm sure my mama did it that way too, so... I've got plenty of these, and I'm going to try one of these. I just thought I'd show you. I'm spending part of my time while I'm waiting on my meatloaf to brown up three more pounds of ground beef so I can drain it. Either freeze it in one-pound packs, or I might use a pound of it or so this week. But at least it's going to be cooked up and ready to go, which means on evenings I'm more tired. It won't take me long to uh, throw something together out of the pantry. So therefore, I'm not using any salt, any pepper, any any bell pepper, onions, garlic. I'll just wait to see what recipe I do and base my ingredients on that. I just thought I'd bring you back and show you. And my car carrots haven't come up to a boil yet. But they still got quite some time before the meatloaf's done. And I have, actually have my meat thermometer here. And my water still for what's next. And my soup. So I'm good to go. Now I actually have my ground beef drained. And I'm just going to set it off the stove and cover it till it cools down. And that'll be three pounds of ground beef I can freeze or cook with this week. Depending on what I want to do. So, I'll bring you back when the carrots are done. I found the brew 
Okay, good. And the meatloaf's done and the coleslaw. I'll bring you back to plate it up. That's just going to go in the refrigerator or the freezer. I've been gone so long, I thought my phone was dead. Got the meatloaf out. I'll show it to you in a second. But right now, I have two tablespoons of the drippings. I need to turn my eye down. My carrots are done. We're going to add this half a cup, I mean, this quarter cup of water that I was wondering about earlier. And this half a cup of tomato soup. And this is going to be our glaze. We're just going to put it back on the stove and mix it up. And after it warms up, then I'll taste it. <clears throat> and see if it needs anything else. I did put a tad of butter in my uh, carrots along with a little bit of salt and pepper. And there's my meatloaf. I drained it. Got, all, got as much grease off of it as I can. And as soon as this is ready, I believe the uh, meatloaf will be rested enough. And I'll fix the plate and show you what it looks like. I almost turned the stove off. I believe it needs to sit a little longer to firm up a little bit more, but my husband's hungry, so I thought I'd take a slice of it and show you. And I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. And this is what the finished plate looks like. Coleslaw, meatloaf, and carrots. I hope my husband enjoys. I'll let you know. Lexi's wagging her tail. She's wanting some supper. <laughs> no, boo, you can't. Yeah, I got any boo food. and uh, Lexi in here, but I thought I'm going to try this meatloaf. I already know the coleslaw and the carrots are good. I added no salt or pepper in the meatloaf. A little bit of, I've been cheating. Okay, uh, Coleslaw and carrot, I have. That's good. Very good. Need a bigger bite. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this simple meatloaf recipe a try. It is good. Like I said, I've added no salt or pepper in it. So, until next time, we'll talk soon.